Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video today. I'm doing a six by eight pocket page layout for my Dublin album from 2020. And I went in early March, right before the big coronavirus stuff hit in the United States. So I'm lucky that I was able to go get back and nothing bad happened. Um, I noticed when I was over there though that everyone seemed very cautious. I saw people washing hands and following what they were supposed to do. Of course, we know the numbers went up in Europe after that, or at least in the UK and Ireland. But I made it home okay, which was awesome. So I have good memories of the trip, luckily. But here is what I have that I'm starting with today. So I've already printed this 3 by 8 card out because I know I want to use it. I needed something that had some color, some form of red in it, and so I have that, and I think it matches pretty well with the signs there. These are a brighter red, but it's close enough. I'm going to go with it. So I have this photo, and then I have an empty pocket here, and my hope is that I can find something that matches, preferably maybe blue because I've got blue here, but I could go black and white if I had to. But I want to find something that has some kind of saying on it, but then probably also has journaling room because I do want to tell the story of the fact that I took an express bus to the airport so that nobody had to drive me out there and worry about getting back and parking and all of that. I always try to make my trips as easy as possible in terms of getting there and getting home. And so I would like to include some of that here if I can. So I've pulled out a little package of stuff I put together that I thought might work for Dublin. That's why it has that on there. And I don't remember all of what's in here, but I'm going to look through here first to see if there's anything I can use there. And then I had also pulled some specific things to go with specific pages and made notes. And I don't remember if I had anything for this one or not. So I'm going to go through here and look through my notes to see... Is there something in here, or am I kind of winging this one? So the only note I found was about possibly using a stamp I have that's about solo travel. So depending on what card I find, I may be able to work that in. If it doesn't go here, I could potentially do it on my itinerary page or the next layout, which I think will be my some flight photos. So we'll see if I can work that in here or if it ends up being somewhere else. But in the meantime, I'm going to go through this and see what I find. For the 3x4 size in that packet, these were the only blue ones I had. This one doesn't really go. I have some night shots from other things, so if I were to do it, I think I would save this one for that since it has these little dark stars on it. So then I have this one, which... The blue on the edges actually matches pretty well. It's the lighter blue on the inside I'm not so crazy about. That doesn't mean I'm giving up on it. I could stamp on there and maybe stamp something over here in a lighter blue to bring that all together. Ooh, I just realized if I did something in lighter blue plus something in black, that could be really cool. So you know what, for now maybe I'll keep this and I'll see what I can do. So when I was talking about that note that I wrote to myself, this was the stamp set I was referring to and this stamp in particular, but I forgot how big it is. And so when I took it out, there's no way I can use that. It would cover up way too much here. I could fit it in here, but then I can't journal. So I don't know that that's going to work. I just thought of something. Could I put it in there and then maybe just journal top and bottom in those spaces? I'm not sure. I'm gonna think about that, plus look through some of my other stamps to see if I have anything else that would work. Well, when I went into my other stamps, I have figured out what I want to do over here. <laughs> Didn't figure this out yet, but that's okay. Over here, I want to use these two sets of stamps. This one is from Feed Your Craft. It's called Here and There. It's from 2018, so I don't know if that is still available, but I'm guessing probably not because that's pretty old. But check uh, eBay, maybe, if you are interested in that. And then this one... Is it Kelly Perky? Yes, it's a Kelly Perky one called Getaway from 2020. And on this one, I think I'm going to use the stamp that says The World is Waiting. It's long and narrow, which is perfect for fitting in on the side here. And then on this one, I think I'm going to do, it's kind of hard to see it here. There, that's better. A New Journey. So for this stamp that says The World is Waiting, I've never used it before. It's brand new. And so when I do that, 
I like to prime the stamps before I actually use them. So you may have seen this in other videos, but all I do is I take um, a pencil eraser and I just go like this and it just roughs up the stamp a little bit so that it'll hold ink better. Then I will stamp and do a test run first. Then I'll actually stamp on here because I don't want to do it right off the bat, have it not totally come out the way I want, and then have to reprint. All right, so there's the first part done. I decided to do that one in black. I'm going to do the other sentiment in the lighter blue. So first I have to test some different shades of blue to make sure I have the one I want, and then I will stamp the next phrase. So this is the blue I chose to go with. This is an old one from Stampin' Up, but it still works, so I'm gonna use it. It was the closest blue I had to that. And you can kind of see here, that's what it looks like when it's on there, and I'm very happy with that. I think that's pretty darn close. So now I have that going, and then I have to figure out, do I wanna put stickers in here, stamps? I'm gonna save the middle for journaling, but that leaves me options for these two spots, and I really like that. Since I've already stamped, I think if I do any stamping over there, I will only do one, and then I'll come up with something for the other area. So I just happened to have these laying on my desk, and I thought, this might actually work well here. And I think I might just punch that out and have it kind of hang over the bottom, and then that means I don't have to stamp anything there. I can just do the top. Plus, it brings in this darker blue. And these are from Ellie's Studio from September of 2020. So again, not sure if those are still available at this point somewhere, but you can go out and look if you like them. All right, there it is with the little tab added, and I love that. It's the perfect blue. It adds a nice touch to the card. It's awesome. So now I'm going to look for something to stamp in there, and then I still might be able to add some little embellishments depending on what I have, but I'm going to start with the stamping. All right, so I have picked out this stamp set, which is a newer one from Allie Edwards. This was from her last travel release. It's just a bunch of quotations, and I really like this one at the bottom. It just, this one actually just says, yep, so darn excited. And this is another new one. I haven't used this one from this set, so I'll have to prime it just like I did the other one. But then I will take it and stamp it right in there. All right, there we go. So I stamped in, yep, so darn excited up at the top, and I love the way that looks. I do think, though, that I need something red on here. So I don't know if I have another little red heart, like a puffy sticker, or I could stamp one, I suppose. I definitely have that. Um, but I need something there to bring it in, in a little bit of that red. I'm also going to see if I have a phrase label of any kind that I can just tuck in there. But we'll see what I find, but I definitely think I need that color. So I pulled out my red phrase labels and I actually found this one. And I like the white background with the red print because it brings in more of the white from over here and on the sign. And so I'm actually happy with the amount of red that has and I'm going to use that one. So I felt like I still needed something else on here and I thought maybe I should bring in more of the black. So I have pulled out this sticker book that I have from Tim Holtz. This is the Big Chat. And there are a couple of stickers on here that I like the phrases of like adventure, feeling alive, like I could make something with some of these words. So my only concern is they're a little too wide because I wanted to kind of sneak it in right between that staple and the edge of the heart and kind of overlap it. I'm not sure that's going to work, but I will play around with some and see what happens. Well, I couldn't make it fit very well in between, so I had to cover up the staple, which is okay. I think what I'm going to do is just staple along the sides at the bottom if I want that look. I could also just leave it as is, but it feels kind of flat to me. I feel like I need some kind of dimension or something extra, so I think I will put that in there. And then my only other option, I think, is maybe to stamp something down here. I could just leave the photo alone, but I'm just not sure yet. I did decide to put in those staples, and I love that. It added just, just a hint of something, which I like. Now I just have to figure out, do I want something on this photo or not? I kind of like it the way it is. It still doesn't have a ton of dimension. That's kind of all I got from that. But I don't know what else to do with this photo. When I was flipping through this book some more, I noticed that I also have the white background ones and there are two stickers that say travel. So I'm going to take this one and I'm actually going to put it right down here in the left hand corner because that's where the most 
dead space. Oh no. Oh, it's going to have to stay there. It's where the most dead space is located. I was trying to get that more even with the edge, but you know what? It's pretty close. And I'll put in this staple and then this one is probably done. All right, here it is, it's finished. And I have to say, this is a page protector style that was a newer one. It hasn't been around as long as the standard ones. I really like this, so I hope they keep making it because I like having that three by eight slot in addition to the standard sizes. I just think it's really cool. So here's a close up of where I stamped on that left side. There's how I built the card and then added that sticker and that's it. So here's another one done for Dublin. Thanks for watching.